Matter of fact, I just saw a report on a turkey ranch, and those birds were talking apocalypse. Well, more like apocalypse. What's up, guys? We've been hit with quite a bit of news here lately. Everything from the new roguelike dungeon coming from Grim Dawn, Grim Internals with its mod compatibility update, the full GQ class restructure of Grim Aurelion version 73, and Grim Immortal, the new mobile experience that will blow your mind. Okay, that last one was an out of season April Fool's joke. But in all seriousness, I want to discuss the others and get us prepared for these changes. I hope this can be offered as a resource to people to answer questions and prevent confusion going forward. In case you missed it, Crit announced they are giving hundreds of items a facelift, adding 12 new bosses and 4 new dungeons, including a new roguelike which has new items that can only be acquired within it. This will be available in the Forgotten Gods expansion. This has been rumored for quite a while now, but they finally released their article in October to confirm that this will be released in patch 115. Release date, end of November, mid-December. I'm ready for this, and I hope it represents better endgame content. In some news about mods, creator of Grim Internals has announced the next update will include a compatibility patch which allows Grimmarillion builds in Crucible. If the user activates Grimmarillion mode within Grim Internals, Grimmarillion becomes part of the main game, and the correct textures and class names will be displayed on the main menu. If you're unfamiliar with Grimmarillion, it's a mod with about 496 total class combinations. So check that out. In the next Grimmarillion update, version 73, there will be a major rebalancing for the GQ classes. Our favorite group of modders are rebalancing the skills before they create the new GQ item sets. This may mean skills are being changed, added, or removed completely. It's possible we will get what seems like brand new skill trees. I have a suspicion that this will wipe most existing Titan Quest builds from their save files. By that I mean either the entire class will be removed from a user's build, skill points will become missing, or both. I'm not certain that this will happen, but I would like to prepare us for it, just in case. I would rather we have and not need, than to need and not have. Missing skill points and drop classes can easily be fixed with a screenshot and GD stash. I'll be walking you through each scenario so you're not blindsided after updating. First off, when updating Grim Aurelion version 73, make sure your mod folder says Grim Aurelion and not anything else. The last update was called Grim Aurelion underscore full and caused a lot of confusion because users didn't know they had to rename the file. Just putting that out there. I would highly, highly, highly recommend backing up your save files before updating version 73. You should be doing this anyway. Take screenshots of your skill trees for the Titan Quest classes and take note of your total skill points. After the update, if you find that a class has been dropped from your build, you can simply check your screenshots and apply your skills as they were before the patch. At least you can test your build as it was originally spec'd out. No guarantees all the skills will be there, or you won't want to respect after the changes though. If you find you do not have the correct amount of skill points, a quick action in GD Stash can correct this rather quickly. Just pull your build into the character editor, enter the value of missing skill points, and click save when out of game. If you do not have GD Stash, there will be instructions on how to download and install at the end of the video. All my sources are in the description below. If you found this video insightful, like and subscribe. I'll be covering more updates in the future. If you'd like to join the community, check out our Discord. Until then, stay excellent. I will show you how to download GD Stash and edit your save file. Basically, go to the link in the description below and download now. Unzip the program. As I've mentioned before on this channel, you will need 7-Zip or WinRAR found on Google to unzip. And then you'll move the GD Stash folder into your Grim Dawn folder. Open up your GD Stash and go to the last tab. Set up your directories as I have them here. So your Grim Dawn installation directory will be set to your Grim Dawn folder and your Grim Dawn save game directory will be in your documents, my games, Grim Dawn, and then inside your save folder. 
Make sure you select mod for Marillion. And make sure you check mark allow item and character editing. And save your settings. Next, scroll over to the fourth tab called character editor. Click reload. And choose a character from the drop down 